Hello lovely lovelies, I am Ellie Pascal, and this is Cradle Your Body, Unleash Your Fire, the somatic journey for listening, rest and revolution. We already know how to create the world that we want to live in. Our bodies are guiding us with the language of sensation. And in this session, you're going to be supported to hear your body guidance and to channel it into the world. So in this space, hmm, prepare to be inspired and surprised. Follow your instincts and your impulses. And I intuit that you will meet the true you who lives with mess, with love, with vitality and with fire. So here to support you in taking the next step with your precious body today is Isla Schaefer. Mm. Isla is a multilingual world medicine folk singer-songwriter and a visionary musical artist weaving together a stunning repertoire of original poetic songs with traditional and tribal music expressing a passionate dedication to earth consciousness and the sacred ancient wisdoms. With a growing international presence, she has become known as a voice of Mother Earth, and she is a powerful sound in the world of ceremonial medicine music and the rising global community of people who are committed to residing in harmony with the earth. Oh, to experience the essence of this young songstress is to be taken down an enchanting musical journey, yes, that ultimately leads us back to the very core of our own inner existence. Isla's music gives me all of the good tingles and so I'm so glad that you're here today with us, Isla. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is a space in which the body comes first. So we are beginning today with a beautiful mm, embodiment practice and musical tree of a journey from Isla now. And um, I really invite you to notice what knowings and inspirations arise in you as you go on this journey because the visions that arise with you when you are inspired and in the space of art and music are to be trusted. This is how we will remake our world with joy. So Isla, is there anything that you want to say before you go ahead? Um, <clears throat> other than thank you for inviting me here and sharing this moment um, yeah I'm happy to the rest of my talking will start the practice yeah great so, um, we'll go right ahead honey. so just welcoming who is joining us here, welcoming us all together in this shared space from our different homes and our possibly different lands. And inviting you to, first of all, get really, really, really comfortable. Ideally, if you can, to lie down on your back with your legs out straight and your arms relaxed. And if you can't do that or you don't want to do that, if you want to be sitting, that's also fine. Just the priority is really relaxed, comfortable. Use any cushions if you need to prop yourself up in any way. That your body can reach that point where that feeling goes like, Oh, yeah. Oh, I can just... Oh, I didn't even realise I was, like, using so much energy to sit up. Or, oh, it feels so good with my feet up like that. <laughs> so just take that time. Wriggling around, adjusting, being warm. <sighs> 
arriving into your body, into your position, into your seat, onto the ground. And hopefully by now settling into a stillness, finding yourself in that nice sweet position. And just bringing, calling home your awareness into your body from whatever has been happening in this day so far to get to this moment. Just allowing that to be in the moment that it was that has already passed. Making yourself available to this beautiful gift of the present moment, the present. And begin to bring that awareness to the sensation of the weight of your body, acknowledging gravity, the force of gravity as you relax and rest and give your weight to that force that is pulling from the center of the earth. Feel where your body's making contact with whatever you are upon, the, the floor, the carpet, the chair, the blanket, whatever is underneath you as being your connection to the earth and to the living earth. So just feeling that contact Noticing the weight. And see what it feels like when you just kind of go, oh, what happens if I don't need to hold my own weight, but I'm just going to give the weight to the earth. Just let go that little bit more. Allowing your weight to be held. There's nothing to do, nowhere to go. Just allowing. And bring your curiosity to your breath. Just notice how it is, if it feels shallow, feels deep, tight, relaxed. Not necessarily changing anything, but just bringing your presence to this beautiful exchange of giving and receiving of air, of life force. Feeling going into your lungs, into your blood, receiving life, exhaling life, intimate exchange. And with each exhalation, you can allow that weight to just drop a little bit deeper with each breath, letting go, releasing, relaxing the muscles with each exhale, a little bit more. Giving it to the earth beneath us. And feeling her wanting, joyfully, lovingly, embracingly receiving our weight and all that we are, all that we carry. Any of our tension, any of our holding, 
our joy, our sorrow, all our being. Welcome. And allowing your breath to change and respond naturally if you find yourself taking some deeper breaths and sighing, go with that. Trusting the body's guidance and intelligence of the nervous system arriving, grounding, So, I'm going to invite you to breathe more consciously into the belly. So for, the, for women particularly, into our womb space. Even if we may not have a physical womb, we're still bringing that consciousness to the energetic space of the womb in the body. So breathing in there. And for men, breathing into the bottom of the belly, the hara. And imagine a, a golden light tinged ever so slightly with green, green golden light there in the womb in the heart, in the belly. And with each exhale, this golden light, we'll, we'll visualize it traveling down from our womb, from our hara, down through our roots into the earth, into the roots of the earth, traveling down through the layers of soil, of sand and rock and sediment, down into the earth, right into the core where it connects with that golden, glowing, blazing fire, the heart of the earth. And on the inhalation, we'll be drawing up that light up into our wombs, into our hara, receiving from the heart of the earth into our bodies. So on the exhalation, breathing out from our womb, this light traveling down to the core of the earth. Connecting there and then drawing back up, this green golden light traveling back up to our center as we receive. So going with your own cycle, your own breath. Relaxing a little bit more with each exhale and receiving that nourishment, that profound connection with the inhalation. as we can allow ourselves to rest more deeply with our consciousness connected to the heart of the earth, we can allow ourselves to remember this oneness, this connection with this living, great, beautiful being, our mother, the earth who gives us everything that we have, everything that we are, So much love and forgiveness, generosity. We can allow the boundaries of our skin and our body to soften and dissolve. 
that we don't feel quite where we end and where she begins and where, or where she ends or we begins. Breathing together with her. Same light. Same love. The same truth. The same peace. And trust her with all that we are. Trust that she will hold all that we are, all that we are feeling, all that we carry in our humanness, welcoming. Speaking with her with our breath, with our relaxation, with our letting go. So keep riding your waves with your breath, the waves with the earth. Be open to any sensations you feel in your body just witnessing any feelings, any images, colours, textures. Just noticing and being open to receiving any messages that may want to be given. Any silence, any emptiness. The gift of this moment. of quietness with the earth. Trusting your 
body, if you find yourself, if you find your body wanting to move with the music, the songs, really allow your body to lead you. Trusting the body has its way of bringing us into a deeper connection with the earth, with ourselves, with what is moving in us, giving it a place. I am the earth, and the earth is feeling through me. I am the earth, and the earth is breathing through me. I am the earth, and the earth is singing through me. I am the earth, and the earth is healing through me. The earth is healing.
with the earth. We are healing with the So I'm just going to take a minute or two to hold some space so that Isla can fall into a, her own body and um, I invite you to, ah, if you've got eyes closed, to leave them closed now and just stay with that connection, stay with that connection between your body and the ground or the earth. And as you breathe and feel that support beneath you, Let it hold you another 10% more, continuing to let go and be held, keeping that connection. We invite you as we move into a more logical space now to stay close with your body and the earth. So you might want to keep eyes closed, see what that's like to hear discussion and see what's alive in your body. You might simply want to keep a hand on the heart space and the womb space. The Hara. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so Thanks. much, Tyler. Mm. 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 Yeah, so. You just took us on this gorgeous journey with our bodies and with the earth and to acknowledge that connection. And I would love to know if, if for you that was always something that was apparent to you that, that this is our piece of the earth and she is our mother or if that was something that came to you at some point in life. I feel it's probably both. I, I certainly remember um, not, you know, not so consciously knowing that with that understanding. I remember that. But if I, if I remember in those younger years, I always had a natural um, calling to be with the earth even though I grew up somewhere that wasn't particularly amazing wild nature, but I, I remember loving to be outside and feeling good when I was outside and feeling a, a sense of love. So I, if I look at that, I go, sure, I've always known in the way that we all do as human beings, I guess. Like, we know that we 
are her and the reason we know it is because it because we are her so we know it <laughs> you know it's true and yet i um yeah it's definitely a journey and process of different things happening and for me to begin to really kind of understand that feeling and expand it and continue to to deepen that yeah yeah um and obviously we are at a significant time on the planet right now so much is changing and we know that we need to change the way that we're doing things in order to take care of our planet, take care of our mother. And um, in your communication with me before we met, you used these beautiful words. You said, you talked of the relationship between music and prayer and of how music can connect us with our inner prayer and also the prayer of the earth. And I've never, heard those words in that way before and I, mm. I wonder if you could speak to it a bit what do you mean by that mm. <laughs> when you say that to me I'm like oh did I say that <laughs> <laughs> like these things that come but it's interesting that that's my response because that actually shows me like it's not it's not really like an idea that I have like that I've read somewhere and that I understand with my mental, the prayer of the earth, it means this. It's like that those words just come out of me as, as my, my music is very good at showing me this. Like, I think words come out in my songs that teach me. I'll be like, wow, what does that mean? Like, that just came out, out of me somehow, through me, with me, from me. Mm. And, and through, through the language of, that song it, it teaches me so the this is this this idea of like the prayer of the earth or the prayer of my life the prayer of the, of spirit all being a kind of like one prayer is something that I find myself singing a lot about and it's it's this like becoming more and more aware of my own presence as each of one of us has of this incredibly intricate web. So if like my existence is this one strand on this massive, amazing web, mm. I'm not just one strand because I'm woven in to something way, way bigger. So it's also my existence, my personal prayer, my life is part of, it's like a tapestry. It's part of a great weaving that is painting some amazing picture that is on this or weaving an amazing something mm. that we maybe never will see with that full eyes. But this, the prayer of the earth, the prayer of our self, yeah, it's coming home more and more to this acknowledgement that there is an intimacy that has been um, tried to be broken by the conventional way of life. It very much does break this intimate coexistence. Whereas if we see like how tribal people live or maybe how an animal lives, like the prayer of a, the life of a tree standing in a forest or the birds living on the tree or the whole of that forest or the river that flows through that forest is kind of all one, it's one existence. So I guess it's, it's something like that. It's like the prayer of the earth as a greater spirit, as a greater home, as a greater being, as a, as a greater picture, as a greater movement that we all have our profound and intimate part of. something like that <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 i love how you were putting words there to to um yeah to 
to something that I recognize, which is often so ineffable to me, that experience of being connected to everything and, and also of um, when, when something is coming through, whether it's music or words or poetry or just a way of doing something, and there's a sense of um, a sense of this is not like it's not me. This is something coming through me, and I'm not doing it. And it's and it's just a delightful um, kind of experience of grace that comes sometimes of ah, oh, I'm I'm letting it through. Oh, I'm like mm. somehow it's you know, and it and it is a voice of something so much bigger. And and I'm curious to know if there's some watching who perhaps can relate to that, but, but sometimes feel blocked or maybe some who, who don't often have the experience of letting that bigger prayer, or perhaps we could use the word creativity in some senses through that. Um, is there any advice or guidance that you would give them about just how to begin? To open that channel a little more yes that's a really valuable question because I, I I would speak even for myself I would say more of the time than not I am feeling disconnected mm. to that like really that level of existence I think our very way of life of living in a house is incredibly disconnecting even when we have a beautiful house we don't feel the rain we don't hear the wind we kind of can't really hear the birds depending on where we live especially if we live in a city or you know our whole way of life is actually based upon breaking a, a natural connection of our wildness and our our wild habitat i mean we literally have uh, unwilded our lands so i appreciate that question because also it's it's also for myself, and I think many of us, this, this time on this earth is so confusing and confusion brings a massive disconnection from, from the earth, but also from our body. Someone said to me the other day, Isla, just remind you, your body is never confused. Like when you feel confused and disconnected, it's, it's up here. The disconnection is, a, is the separation of, this of our awareness from our body but actually our body is always here and always knows so i for me personally the most powerful ways of connecting is is bringing myself to nature wherever that can be whether it's just a tree or a tiny patch of earth in a garden or there's no earth and it's just like standing and consciously looking at something that feels like nature, the sky, the moon, the sun, the river, the sea. Because, because that connection is our nature. It's like when we put ourselves off our presence, it's like the resonance is so strong that it calls us back into connection. And sure, we may have to work to feel it, but I think, there's very few people who won't look, say, at a beautiful sunset and feel something that feels good. You may not know, oh, this is connection or this is whatever. It's just like that basically feels good to look at that beauty. Yeah. So then the other part is, is really like the presence in the body and the presence of the present moment, that in combination with, with nature and with any tools that help us to do that, help us to be in this body, which is the earth, which is nature, which is made from this creation. This is the home to be close to the earth. For me, singing is like, brings me so fast. It's one of my personal fastest tools to bring myself in in a place that feels connected to myself, to the earth, to my body, 
to other people, to my sadness, to my joy, to all that I am. So that's really the main tool that I can recommend through my personal experience. But there are many ways. So it's also that to encourage people to find what is calling them. It may be dancing, it may be painting, it may be simply being in silence and meditation, going for walks, swimming, I don't know, you know, it's, mm -hmm. but to, to follow, to experiment and explore. And I guess for me, the sign, you know, if anyone goes, well, how do I know when I'm disconnected or how do I know when I'm connected? Like, what does that feel like? It's kind of like to just follow that which feels good. Like when I started singing when I was 14, however old I was, I didn't know about like, oh, I'm doing this because it's healing me or I'm praying or I didn't know about any of that. I just simply knew it felt better than not doing it. <laughs> right. I think that you've hit on the pinnacle point there that we have generally in this world been desensitized to what feels good because often it's, I don't want to do that. Well, you have to do it you know, and then maybe you'll get an A star. So then there's a kind of mm. new pathway that got opened, which wasn't organic in the first place. And it's mm. coming back to this beautiful organic, what, what does this soft creature that I live in, what feels good to that? Mm. Yeah, and, and mm. maybe it is, if there's a sense of disconnection to ask those gentle questions of, what did I love when I was tiny? Before mm. started telling me what I should feel proud of, like just mm. without trying. Um, yes, mm. thank you for that. That was just lovely. Um, and before we before we close, I'm going to invite everybody to we'll take three breaths together. So, if you have let your eyes open, I invite you to let them close or to rest with a soft gaze and just to come gently back to this precious physical vessel that you're in for these three breaths. And notice, particularly the exhale and how it invites you to constantly remake that contact with the ground and the earth. I invite you to let this connection that you've made today simmer through the rest of your waking hours and perhaps opening to that intention to let the prayer or the voice of the earth move through you, come through you simply by endeavouring to follow what feels good. And now as we take a few words to close, you may want to stay with eyes closed. You may want to let them come open, follow what feels right to you. Um, and beneath this video, there's a link to Isla's website. So you can click and find out more of the beauty that she's putting out into the world. See what you might like to follow there and sign up to her mailing list if you feel called. Ayla, thank you so much. Mm, thank you very much. Mm. And a total delight to sit with you. All right, everyone, go gently. Mm.